Hi everyone, Jacqueline here. So here is today's project. We are going to pot up this coffee mug that I purchased, which is really quite cool. And you can get the replacement cocoa weaves for it as well. So I thought this might be nice for the cottage garden, which is slow to put together, but it can sit on the table or anywhere you want it. Uh, on the deck or in the garden and I just think it's so unique. Now I do want to paint this frame um, copper or white but that's not going to happen this year because with the weather being so so crappy and rainy it's not going to get enough time to dry and I need to get this planted. So we're going to go ahead and you can see here the base it's quite nice and get this all done and um I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's a, a good um, statement piece to talk about. And these are the plants I'm going to use. I'm going to use three of my coleus right here that need to be planted. So there's three and I'm using them because I like the color of the foliage. We're going to use three of the mixed geraniums here. And then I'm going to use these petunias because the color is amazing. And with the mixed geraniums, they should be real pretty. And this, I believe, is the Blue Dreams, Sky Blue Dreams. And I really like this regular petunia just because it's so pretty. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the soil into the container. And I'm just using a regular potting mix. It is the Schultz Potty Mix, and this has compost in it, soil, and some manure, and peat. So if you look at it, it's a really nice light mixture, and there's some organic in there, which is just fine. I'm not against organic mulch being in soil mixtures, because I think it's okay, it breaks down. And that I just, seedling mixes, it's not so good because it's too bulky. So I'm going to fill this up and then we will go ahead and we will pot this up. I've got the soil in here now. I've added shake and feed. And I'm not going to use as many plants as I thought. So we're just going to keep this simple. And I'm going to start with adding a coleus. And I like this one because it's very limey and a lot of like brownish reds in it. So we're going to start with putting that one in. And I need to get these planted because time is going by. So I'm actually going to do this a little differently. I'm going to put the coleus in the center. Just like that. And then I'm going to come through with the geranium. And I'm picking my worst geraniums, the ones that need to be planted the most. So anything spindly because they need to be done. So this one, for instance, which is a mixed. And I'm just going to pot on the side. And then I'm going to fill with petunias. So we're just going to come into the back here. And I'm going to shove it in. And you can see they definitely need to be planted. Look at the roots. And this arrangement is going to be used on the table. I want to spray this container white or copper because I like copper in the garden. And I feel like that's the newest color to come out in metal and it's going to become very popular. But I personally like it just because it's a warm metal. And as you know, I'm not a fan of the black. So we'll put one geranium here and then I'm going to put one over here. And you can see these need definitely need potted. I mean, look at the leaves. So we're just going to pick that leaf off and remove it and pop that out. And push that a little bit back. And I'm just going to come through and put this in here right in the front because they're getting tall, as you can see. So they definitely need to be potted up. And then I'm going to come through with the petunias on the sides. And this is a simple, simple arrangement. So I'm going to use this one. I've used a lot of it, you guys. I think it'd be pretty if these geraniums turn out to be pinks. I'm going to put one on each side here. Right there, like that. And they need to go in too. Because they're showing a little bit of stress with the yellow leaves, you see. So we're just going to pot those in like that. And then I'm going to come through 
with this beautiful petunia here. I just love this dream blue petunia. And I have three of these left in here in this container. You can see if I push this back, you can see I have three. So I'm just gonna try to fit them in and use this particular bunch up. So I'm just gonna break them off and I'm gonna stick one in here. Not everything has to be, you know, three of the same or four of the same. You can mix things up. You can do one of each plant. Now I'm just looking at this. The only thing I find sometimes with these is you cannot split them. And as you can see, I thought there'd be two in here and there technically should be, but they're so close together. I'm just going to call it one, which is fine. I'm just going to turn this around and I'm going to shove this in here. And I pick off the dead leaves as we go. Usually I pick off the blooms too, but for the video, I'll leave the color on because then if I pick everything off, you don't get to see or get an idea of the color that you can, that you're gonna see in this. See like this one, for instance, it's leaning that way. So I should have turned it out for the video, but oh well. So you can see how that's gonna look. The geranium's gonna fill in this side and then the petunias will fill in all the rest of the way around. If we want to add more color to this, we could bring in another petunia or something in here. But I think once this fills in, it's going to be really, really flush. And that's what I'm looking for, is a lot of color and fullness. I like to allow the plants room to breathe too. So we're gonna add some fertilizer to it now. And then I'm just gonna place it in the center of the table for today. And it may stay there for the whole summer, it may move. We'll see how things go. So I'm just gonna add a capsule of this seaweed concentrate to a bucket of water. I don't really measure by capful. I just pour it in and then give it a good shape and then we'll water this. And just shake it around like that and then we're gonna water it into the plant. And that's all there is for this. So they get a feeding from the granular fertilizer and then they get a feeding again from liquid fertilizer. And I'll feed it once a week with liquid fertilizer and probably water daily and I'm just gonna move this so you can see it. And I wanna really show the color of these petunias. Cause that really, these petunias are the star of the show at this point. All right, you can see what that looks like now. I still have lots of plants left. I can use them elsewhere, but this is really, really cute. I'm just going to put it in the center. For planters like this, you have a number of options with the cocoa weed. Kind of like when I did those petunia geranium balls, you can kind of do the same thing with this. You can cut holes into this and you actually could put spirals, a color in here and wrap it down in each one. I think petunias for this kind of basket would be too heavy to do that with. I think you'd want to use something uh, much finer, a finer flower like violas, would be pretty something of just a smaller size flower that would align better and not become too poofy because I'm afraid you won't see the handle in this arrangement if you go too hard because it would blend in and it would maybe poof out beyond this but you do have some options to add some stuff in here and because this is a replaceable cocoa weave you can change it every year so I've seen this as an investment of something kind of cute I love my morning coffee on the deck and this is something for me to look at every day and enjoy especially with these blues I have a thing going on with blues this year um, we call them blues but they're actually purples I just want to make that distinction they're purples but they're they're in the blue family so to speak this particular shade anyhow i find it's more toward the blue than it is toward the yellow tones anyhow you could plant it up and make it really really pretty with a bunch of violas and stuff but this time i'm just going to let these plants speak for themselves i need to use these plants up and i don't like to waste plants so i thought this is perfect so I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's another container video. You're probably going to see a lot of them. I still have some containers I need to do. I'm just not 
Well, I haven't made my mind up on what I'm doing with them, to be quite honest. So that'll be next. There'll be some more videos putting them out. And as the garden evolves in that, you will see more color. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Let me know what you think of this coffee mug. Bye. By the way, you guys, I screwed up. I could have added some black dragon coleus to it, too. I may end up throwing a couple of those in later. Yeah, I totally forgot I had this.